there's four parts to forgiveness. Four parts. Here's the first part. It's, it's the confession of the behavior. Now, what is that? That sounds theological. Well, kind of. Uh, but let me, let me bring it in to an interpersonal relationship. There are three words that describes the confession of the behavior. Here's what they are. And everybody look at me. I am wrong. Now, some of you are starting to shudder right about now. But here's what I want you to do. Husbands, wives, turn to one another. All right? Get a good look on one another. Um, and I just want, I want the men to start and say the words, I am wrong. Go ahead, guys. Yeah. yeah I, I didn't say make out. All right. Now, as soon as a wife heard that, what is she saying to herself? About what? I am wrong. Well, what are you wrong about? I want to hear what you're wrong about. All right. Now, guys, fair play. Turn to your wives. And wives, uh, repeat after me. I am wrong. Oh, much gentler. Okay. Very sweet. How many of you find it hard to say I'm wrong? Okay. Uh, many of us in this room. I'm wrong. Everyone say I am wrong. Yeah. So when we do something to offend one another, I want to submit to you, this is my coaching to you, I am wrong. It's the first part of it. It's the behavioral aspect. It's the confession. I'm wrong for what I did. But it's not enough. How many of you would agree it's not enough? Because there's got to be something else. So the second one is I am sorry. I am sorry. Now here's what some of us do. Well, I said I'm sorry. You know, or you got a couple kids and one kid whaps the other kid and you go, go, go tell your sister you're sorry. I'm sorry. And then you feel better. I mean, what's that about? <laughs> they're not sorry. They're only sorry because they, they got caught. All right. So they're just, you know, checking it off the list. They're not sorry. A uh, guy named Dr. Bruce Naramore, Rules Meet School of Psychology in California, calls it constructive sorrow. That's the best way I've ever heard it described. Constructive sorrow. I'm wrong. Everyone say, I'm wrong. But I'm sorry moves from the behavior to the emotion. So husbands and wives turn to each other. We're going to start with the men because you're big and burly and not as good looking. All right? So men, repeat after me. I am sorry. Yeah. Yeah, wives, give him a little kiss or something. The guy's stepping into this deal. All right. I didn't say swap spit. I said just give him a kiss. Okay. And now wives, look at your husband because he needs to hear it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, when we say that, we want to know what it's about. I am wrong, behavior. I am sorry. Everyone say, I'm wrong. Some of you are getting this. Some of you are just folding your arms like, I'm not doing this. Some of you are folding your arms because you got a lot to rest it on at this stage. But anyway, I am wrong. I am sorry. But there's a third part. Here's the third part. And it's fascinating. I was at Fort Drum up in New York in December. Wrong place to go in December. And, uh, and, and we had the soldiers up there. And I was teaching some of this, and this one soldier said, you know what, Rosberg, this is fascinating what you're teaching, because in the army we call it about faith. Because it's not only I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but there's a third element, and it's repentance. See, repentance just isn't just the emotion of sorrow. It's, it's a deep conviction. And here's what it looks like in my marriage. And uh, we've been doing this for 42 years. You know what, Barb, I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Here's the third part. But I don't ever, 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 ever want to hurt you again like I hurt you. Because some people say, well, you say you're wrong, you say you're sorry, fair game, you can go do it again. Uh, well, that's not the heart behind this. Everybody with me? So what this guy at Fort Drum said, you know, Dr. Rosberg, he said, in the Army, here's what we call it, it's an about face. He said, but then it's marching in another direction. That was fascinating to me. So men and women, when you got open loops and when you got a pattern of open loops and you're offending one another, and you get convicted. It's not that the other person's blowing up on you or shaming you, but you're saying, I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but you know what, Barb? I don't ever want to hurt you again. Listen, what you're doing is you're stepping back into the marriage relationship. You're sealing up the wall, Mike and Jen, like we demonstrated with you. You're sealing up the wall. It's safe. She can lean out, but there's a boundary that keeps her in. You put down the wall between you, and you reconnect. It's starting to feel pretty good. There's a fourth part. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt you again. And this is where it gets really scary because it empowers the other person. It's the question, will you forgive me? Will you forgive me? It's like you're knocking on a door and the other person's got to open the door. And you know what? They got to make a choice whether they open the door. Will you forgive me? 